So I got my AC guy here and we're going to show you how to check the AC on your mini split, my Pioneer mini split. That's my air handler up there, condensers in the back, let's go around to the back. Eric's back here, he's already loosening up the nuts, so you can take a look inside. And he's hooking up his, uh, he's already got almost everything done. Yeah. It's already good. fixed it, look at that, it's <laughs> amazing. Now we're taking that off there. Huh? This thing, I think I put it in about four or five years ago. Okay. I know that this is uh, that salt water. This is the land of salt. Oh my gosh! Is it coming out? Yeah, it's coming. Okay, come. It's moving. Oh, I'm moving. Come on. It's got those little things that pop. Yeah. See them? Yeah. All right. So now we're, we got access to the free items. Yeah. Things. Now, do you think there's a leak down here? It or, could be that, or. It depends. Usually, when it's it doesn't, I'm sure it's not like all the way empty because you like you see like the condenser coil is kind of kind of in rough shape. But yeah. I guess it just depends on how long it is, you know. Mm -hmm. And and in four years, would it could, would it like bleed out like that? Mm, possibly. Have you ever had anybody like hook up gauges to it ever, or not really? Um, just, when, not... just when we put it in. Okay. Yeah, because I think they only hold a few pounds, like four pounds or something, three pounds of uh, refrigerant. They don't hold that, you know. Pretty tidy left to loose, you know? Yeah. That's a bigger challenge. Go get, yeah, you know, I can't find them. I think I just left them in the attic. i got to go get my adjustable wrench. Yeah. There, there you go. go. You got it. It's a good thing you're strong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I have a big pair. I, I had think, one of I think these I, things. I think I left them in the attic I was just in. I can't find them. Right, so now this um, one, the blue, is for... Um, yeah, the low side. Well, it doesn't matter. You can hook them up to any side. But, yeah, but there's only one port on these. There's just one port on the mini splits? Yeah. So you just hook it to that. Mm -hmm. And then this uh, this one here is where we... Where do we put the, um, the new refrigerant? Well, oh, you're gonna test it right now. We're yeah, it's, it's low. It's fucking pretty low. What's it show? It should be somewhere between probably about 125 psi, and it's under 50. Oh yeah, that's, that's... a big leak, man. That's not good. Uh, it's probably leaking from this damn coil. You can see how. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can throw some in and you know who knows it might not be you know what i mean i'm just gonna throw some in and see how long it lasts for yeah we could try that you know yes. before i tell, give you say oh you know change this you know see how long it lasts for i'm right. gonna try that all right we'll start with uh option a yeah <laughs> all right so on the mini splits you've got just this one thing here and you can see it comes up it's right here it's the blue line and you can see the pressure in here is way low. It should be up here. So we've got either a leak or somehow it just came out of the coils because these coils are not the best looking coils you could buy. I mean, they look pretty damaged. You know, check them out. They're really not too good. Let's look back here. Back here, yeah, you can see. So that could be one of our problems right there. But anyway, we're going to try putting some in, and then we'll see how long it lasts. And then if we've got to, uh, you know, change out this condenser, we'll change out the condenser. This is the expensive <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. This stuff used to be $90 a jug. I used to buy it from a guy. Like, at, I'd meet him at, like, a, uh, at a, at a, like a yeah. drug store or something. Yeah. And he would sell it to me, like, because he was <laughs> supposed to sell it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it was ninety dollars. Shit, even sixty nine before you know ninety was expensive. Now what's it running for? I just bought this one for five hundred and twenty dollars. That is insane. Mm-hmm. And R twenty two. Oh, forget about that. That's just fifteen hundred dollars a jug. All right, so now we're gonna try pumping her up a little yeah. bit. So you turn it upside down. Yeah, just, just so it charges as a liquid. Charges faster. Yeah. You know, you can charge it as so a vapor. There, we definitely got. Oh, look at that. That thing went way up. <laughs> yeah. But it's got to plane out once I close it, you know? Kind of. And then how can you tell if it's leaking out? 
just have to get, give it time to see? Or? Yeah, just as long as, you know, I could do this and it goes another six months without, you know, or a year or something, or it, it's kind of one of those things, like, who knows how long it's going to last type thing, you know? Let me ask you this, how hard would it be for us just to go ahead and replace this whole... Uh, Not hard at all. Pat told me to take some photos of it yeah. and, like, let them know, like... So, you know, this one here, I tell you the story, because I bought one. It was 1800 BTU. What's this this one? is two, two tons. Ton, yeah. So I bought it, pretty. And, it, and the thing cracked out of me. Really? So I went down to Miami, and I said, this thing doesn't work. Yeah. And they gave me credit, and they gave me this one for 600 Yeah. How long, and that was, what, five, six years? Five years Probably ago. cheaper now, these things. Like, they're everywhere now. I know. So I was thinking that, I, but the only thing I'm worried about is if I have a, a, a problem with the line here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, right. But well, I think the air, the air handler's working great. Mm-hmm. But we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, you see, we'll see how long this lasts for, you know? Who knows? Maybe it's a small leak and, then, and you just and then, haven't noticed And then, that. if I, let's say if I bought a Mitsubishi, uh -huh. or, you know, maybe you could find you them. Could find, yeah, you could find them on Amazon, too. I, ordered I, bought, I bought this on Amazon. Yeah, maybe. I ordered one on Amazon, and... Uh, yeah, that's not So hard. I'm thinking maybe that's what, if this doesn't work, yeah, if this, then uh, I think maybe we'll do that. Then I'll have you do it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'll help you. Yeah, perfect. But, which means I'll stand here and talk to you. Yeah, great. <laughs> we'll see how long, hopefully this lasts a while. And you don't even have to I think it's definitely, it. I think you might be right about the coils. Yeah, they're in rough shape. But that's just because it's so close to the ocean. It's, it's just it's crazy. It's crazy. Is there one that has a better, but you have to have that open, yeah, don't you? If you look, I don't know, there's companies that will take your shit apart and coat it. Coat oh. it with some corrosive, like the whole coil, or the coat with the coil. Really? Yeah, I don't even know. They, or they might make something that you could buy yourself. And, you I mean, because everything on here is working, you know? But look at, did you see these coils? I mean, they're pretty. Huh. Well, I've seen worse. I've seen worse in it. I've seen them where they don't, you see these fins? I've seen them where all the fins are gone and it's just, not on mini splits but on other units and it's just straight copper tubing around. No fins. shit. Yeah. So the coils, but the coils don't have fluid going through them. They got refrigerant going through. Oh, they do? Yeah, inside, you know, like through these like U-bends and stuff. There's refrigerant running through. On that? All but through. all the way through here. But in, but this goes through this as a pipe, yeah, right? Yeah, and then it keeps going back around. So you could have a pinhole in one of those. Right, exactly. Oh, I see. All right, so that's what that's what we're looking at. Right. right. And this stuff here is called uh, 4108A refrigerant? Yeah, 410A. Four, okay. And that's what you usually use in these things? Yeah, all the newer units are 410A. They, uh, cause they don't even make the uh, 22 anymore, but there's like drop-in replacements for it. Mm -hmm. And that's what most companies do. They'll just, they'll charge people 22 prices, but they're using like a drop-in replacement for it. And I have like, we have a bunch of people with houses and shit. And Pat was cool because like, he- Yeah, he, I, he, he called me, he's like, I don't think I'll be able to make it. But he like, wanted to get it right away. Yeah, yeah. Good. He's like, because he knows I, I'm pretty much always down in Delray, Point and Boca working. And my last call was literally, you know, right down the street. So. All right. Well, so that, you know, I'm hoping that, that that'll keep it pretty good for the next. Full <laughs> notice, right? Oh, yeah. You'll notice. It'll start doing, you know. Oh, you're losing some here. You know what? That's expensive stuff, right? Yeah. That was just what was stuck in the hose. Right, now what do we do? We check the pressure on the other side? No, there's only one. You can't hook up the other gate. Oh, so phone. we don't, we can't yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah, there's only. And like on mini splits, uh, most like residential units, uh -huh. this quarter inch hose will fit around it, but on the mini splits you need this 5 sixteenths. It's a 5 sixteenth attachment you need. It's a 5 sixteenths attachment? Yeah, it goes to 5 sixteenths to quarter inch, so, because this is bigger than, it's a, uh, so this goes around that, and then your hose hooks up to that. That's how you take pressures on it. Okay, cool. Now we gotta get that thing back on there. Yeah. So I'm thinking that I may want to get, you know, maybe redo the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know, but you could honestly like. I would look because sometimes they'll sell the whole thing cheaper than they'll sell one, you know, whole one condenser. Yeah. Here, yeah, and you'll get copper. You'll get a whole new roll of copper with it and everything. 
So I might do that. So I would just, you know, weigh my options. How much would know? you charge to install it? I got to look. I mean, not nothing crazy. It takes at least like about four hours. But yeah. I already got the hole in it. Yeah, yeah. So that's huge right there. So. Everything there. A little thermometer. Just a thermometer? Uh -huh. Just got to be careful. You don't want to stick it in too far because... That's what she said. <laughs> you'll hit the plastic little blower wheel. That's why it's like bent like that because I did that. I stuck it in too far and it... And it hit it? Yeah. So what is it saying there? It's dry. It's 60... It's definitely coming out cold. It's in the 50s. And drop and look. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That's good, right? Oh, yeah. 57, 56... 55, 54. Yeah. 54. It's probably going a little colder. I just can't really stick it too far back because I don't want to hit the blower wheel. Wow. So, I'll how just, cold does it usually go to? Normal, they say anywhere on these, anywhere from 20 to 25 degree difference of what the air coming in is, you know? So, say it's like pulling in 80 degrees, it should be pulling out like. 55 to 60, you know? Look at that, that's 50. Yeah. We might break 50. <laughs> Probably, these things are really efficient. We're at 50.2 degrees. Come on, let's get 49. <laughs> Give us 49. Oh, we're so close. See if I can get it. We're so close. I don't know, it looks like we're stuck at 50.2. Yeah, but as the temperature, oh, as the temperature inside drops, so does your- <gasps> Break 50, look. Yeah. So as it gets colder inside here. Yeah, yeah. Because it's always going to have... There you have 49.8. 49.8. I'd say it's... Woo, I'd say we're doing good, man. Yeah. Look at that. 49.8. Excellent job. <laughs> <laughs>